There are several surprising connections in history today, so let's check it out. Bonjour tout le monde and welcome to week 9 of Turn Back the Clock with Stock. We're going to start this week with the Huguenots. They were the French Protestants back around the 16th century. And they were gaining more importance and prevalence in French society and the Catholic Church didn't like it. So there were several wars trying to stamp out the, the Protestants. After many battles, Henry IV signed the Edict of Nantes and this gave tolerance to the Protestants, to the Huguenots. About a hundred years later though, on October 18, 1685, Louis XIV signed the Edict of Fontainebleau, which abolished all of the civil and religious rights that the Huguenots had. And I've given a link in the description to some more information about that. On October 19, 1493, the British and the French sign a treaty that ends the Hundred Years' War. It did, however, leave Calais in control of the British, and Calais is one of those gateways into, into England. From there you cross the English Channel and you arrive at Dover. It's a beautiful city. Both Calais and Dover are beautiful cities. Crossing the English Channel is wonderful too. You should do it sometime. On October 20th, 1869, something happened. I don't know if it's a good thing or not. You can be the judge. The patent for margarine is issued to Hippolyte Mege Muriez. On October 21st, 1680, Louis XIV merges the two theatrical groups in Paris into one, and this creates La Comédie Française, and for many years they were the only theatrical troupe allowed to perform in Paris. France had a lot of colonial possessions throughout the world, including many in Southeast Asia, and on October 22nd, 1953, Laos was granted its independence. Also on October 22nd, 10 years earlier in 1943, we have the birth of actress Catherine Deneuve. One of her most famous roles is in a movie called Andochine, and it's about Southeast Asia. I've given you a link to its trailer in the description. It's from 1992. Now Catherine Deneuve was, is still one of France's best known actresses, and she was the model for Marianne one of the images of Marianne. And Marianne is kind of like our Uncle Sam. She kind of embodies everything that, that France holds dear. October 23rd, 1992. Three former health officials are convicted of distributing AIDS-tainted blood. Now the AIDS epidemic at the time was not new, but it was still something that society was trying to, to get a grasp on and how do we deal with it and all of these things. The first time that I learned the French term for AIDS, which is SIDA, S-I-D-A. I was listening to the radio one morning. I was over in France, and they announced that Freddie Mercury, the lead singer of Queen, had died of SIDA. So I did some asking around and some research, and I found out that SIDA, S-I-D-A, is the French term for AIDS. Molière was an incredible French playwright. Some of his most famous works are The Misanthrope, The Miser, and The Doctor in Spite of Himself. I've given you a link in the description to The Miser, the full text. It's a comedy, and I think you'll enjoy it. Twenty-two years before Louis XIV combined the two theatrical groups in Paris, in 1658, on October 24th, Moliere and his troupe performed for Louis XIV in the Louvre, which at the time was the King's Palace. So, that's the history for this week. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again next week. A bientôt! Yeah.